a picture postcard setting, a vacationer's paradise. The region pulls in half a million visitors a year. Then, on March 27th, 1980, at 12.36 p.m., St. Helens spews smoke and ash higher than a mile into the sky. The volcano has woken up from a 123-year sleep. Excited by the prospect of more eruptions on their doorstep, thousands of spectators flock to the area. But scientist David Johnston from the U.S. Geological Survey worked with is worried. He's been fascinated by volcanoes since the age of 18. And he's been fascinated by volcanoes.